I got tagged on a video yesterday um, and I'm going to show you the screen recording and then we'll talk about it. When you don't, that's in my extension too, that's why I told you don't touch it. You have to be, watch it. You can't put it half the places you want to. So, the stitch I saw was someone that stitched this video um, and then kind of called out the girl or kind of like complained about the way she spoke to her mom. And I, I don't know if it's just me. I stand to be corrected. Maybe you want to give your perspective, but I don't see nothing wrong with the way she spoke to the mom. Like, are y'all so traumatized from the way your mothers raised you that you can't stand your daughters or people's daughters having voices and boundaries for themselves? Or did I see something or did I miss something that you all saw? Because I'm confused. I'm confused. Like, from this short clip, what I saw is, the mom wanted to put the hair clips in her hair and apparently she has extensions and the mom kept on pushing the hair clip into the extensions. Which, be fucking careful. I mean, the fuck? <laughs> okay. And it looks like, from the context, I'm not sure if I'm getting that right, from the context, it looks like the girl, or the daughter has continuously or repeatedly told the mom not to put it in a particular place because of the extensions. Because she said, that is why I told you not to touch it. And people are in their feelings about the way she spoke to the mom. My daughter is five and I know for a fact she has spoken to me more spicier than this, uh, this two have interacted with each other. And I feel that many people fail to miss the point. Like, I get we all want confident daughters, you know. We want daughters that will resist social standards, will resist the urge to bend and bow to beauty standards, etc., etc. You want your daughters to have boundaries. You want them to be self-confident. You want them to be outspoken. You want them to be content with themselves, but not with you. Or what's the fucking point? Because, you know, if I braid my daughter's hair and it hurts her, and I keep on hurting her, even if the intention is clearly, I don't want to hurt her, but braiding hair is painful, she will keep on telling me to stop. She will, and she, she will be angry because she has repeatedly told me it's painful. So she expects me to put that into consideration and be more careful with her hair. If that's possible or not, it's not part of the debate, but you get the point. My daughter communicates something to me and whether or not I put that into consideration, according to her demand, is how she's going to carry this whole conversation. So I don't get why so many of all are in your feelings about the way this girl spoke to her mother, because I saw nothing wrong with that. Like, I know if I, clearly, if I had an opinion like this, first and foremost, my mother would have never, <laughs> never gotten the idea to do my makeup for my prom or whatever, like, that would have never even on the picture. That, that would have never, it wasn't even, it wasn't even around, okay? That, our relationship has never even been like that. So the fact that I never even had that, I wish I had the opportunity um, for my mother to sit down with me, do my makeup, escort me to my prom, but she didn't. I had my prom as on the similarity or the, the, the it, it's not really prom, but whatever we have in Germany that's similar to prom, and she didn't show up. So that's besides the point, okay? So I'm really confused. Is it that y'all also lack that motherly relationship and therefore see things that you would have been punished for as a child? Because if I criticized my mother, the, criticized the way she criticized her for, I told you not to touch it, she would have snatched these extensions off my head, out my hair. <laughs> extensions where? I would have never even had extensions in the first place, okay? But let's just hypothetically say I had. And I complained about her putting the hair clip in a certain way. That's the end of the hair clip, the extensions, and me. <laughs> but I'm not my mother. Y'all are not your parents. 
you know, you can unlearn what was shoved down your throat. You can unlearn that. You can do better now. You can have that relationship with your children that you never had. You can allow your children to talk back. Oh my fucking God. There I said it. Oh my fucking God. Y'all can allow your children to argue. Y'all can allow your children to be angry. And I promise you, I promise you, it's not going to change nothing. They are not going to be grown, growing up disrespectful brats. They are not going to be uh, drug dealers. They are not going to be violent. They are not going to be aggressive just because you allow them to have feelings. I know it's a lot. It's a lot, especially for all my besties that were also abused, that also had no relationship with their mother, that had no safe place to take their womanhood to. But you are you now. I'm me now, okay? And my child has every right to talk back, has every right to complain, has every right to criticize me. Guess the fuck why? Because she's a human being. I know, I know, wild take, completely wild take. Your child has emotions, feelings, opinions that might differ from yours. And you might not always like it. But that's why you need to reparent yourself, okay? You need to relive your childhood with your children so you can find some healing. And then you will also see that there is nothing wrong with this video. Y'all are just throwing a fit at every given, given opportunity and it's fucking weird. Go to therapy. Go to therapy. Heal that inner child of yours. Find it, heal it, talk to it, you know. Then you understand that just because you were not given freedom, you know, you were not given the right to have feelings, the right to criticism, the right to be outspoken, the right to be confident, even at tender age, you don't have to continue the cycle. You can break that cycle, you know. You can actually be the mother you wish you had when you were a child. I know that's a lot. I know it's emotional. I know it's painful, but you can. Okay. You don't have to continue being an abuser, you know. I know that's, that's a lot. And I know the truth hurts. But you're not granting your children feelings, rights, emotions, opinions. That's abuse and neglect. You don't have to hit your children to abuse them. Just saying. So maybe, just maybe, take a moment or two and remember how you would have want to be treated and the rights and freedoms and, and entitlement you would have wanted to enjoy in your childhood. And maybe rethink your parenting style. If your child is in their feelings and shouts at you, that does not mean they disrespect you. Okay? It doesn't. It really does not. If your child is angry, they have every right to be angry. If, you're, if you want your children to regulate their emotions, you need to model the way you regulate your own emotions. Because fuck all that. Oh, baby, I told you what to do. I told you to take a breath. Fuck all that. Your kids don't give a flying fuck about what you tell them. Okay? You can talk to them from morning till night. They don't fucking care. Children see, children do. It's actually that simple. So when you are in your feelings and you regulate your own emotions and your children see you do that, what do you think they will do? They will mirror you. Okay? You need to lead by example. Yeah, 